And now your host, Glenn Rawson. Tonight, we begin a series about Joseph Smith's first vision. It's a book written by Fawn M. Brody, first published in 1945. It was entitled, No Man Knows My History. Now, in it, Brody, the niece of David O. McKay, challenged the historicity of Joseph Smith's story. So Fawn Brody's claim that Joseph Smith's uh, statement about having been visited by Jesus and by our Heavenly Father was of his own manufacturer uh, created a, uh, a stir in the Mormon historical community. Nobody with, uh, with her credentials, nobody with her genealogy had ever made such a statement in such a, uh, a uh, consumable uh, version because her book is, uh, by, by all accounts, well-written. The conversation that has been captured in correspondence illustrates the divergence of views as to what was the root of Joseph Smith's claims. Was it pathological? That is, was there something associated with uh, disease of mind or was this something that was uh, completely a fanciful manufacture? As one uh, modern scholar has uh, described it, uh, who has dismissed Joseph Smith truth, truth claims, uh, was he a pious fraud? That is, did he want to do good, but uh, had to come up with these, uh, these religious ideas in order, in order to bolster his claims and uh, get some uh, claim of legitimacy uh, amongst uh, ignorant people. Von Brody's claims about Joseph Smith eventually brought uh, censure to her from the church, and she was uh, unchurched. Um, there were some attempts to respond to what she had to say, but they were absent the kind of historical scrutiny that she had applied to the whole milieu of Joseph Smith uh, during his lifetime.